Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the market. It's currently 4, 12 p.m. August 2nd, 2021, Monday, first day of trading of August. And I got off on a green note. However, the market conditions were still, still lame. Anyway, make sure you subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. It takes just a half a tenth of a second to hit the like button just below, the thumbs up button right there. Appreciate that. Uh, I did a news video yesterday, and the news video covers all the trades I recorded in July. It wasn't all of the trades, of course, just most of the ones I could catch on video. And I shared those with you and showed you how you can take advantage of trading the news. So make sure you check that out. It was just on Sunday. Um, you'll see a link at the end of this video as well for that video. And um, just check it out. That's all. I hope everyone's doing well. Had a good weekend. You can see we gapped up on the SPY and just faded off the rest of the day. Made trading a little bit more difficult, um, but there were definitely some setups today. I just got beat up by one stock, usually the case, and I ended the day with a good $48. Um, actually, it was a new trade, news trade that got me today, and I'll explain that in a second. I'll start with DLPN. DLPN trade in the past um, back here. It was a nutty stock, super nutty. Not nearly as bad now. Um, I just could not. I thought it was going to go and down here through the 950 level. And I just could not get it. And I was going probably a little bit heavier than I wanted to be. So on three or four attempts, um, actually, I was trying to trade it down in the, these two candles. On th three trades, I was down $340, and then it goes. It seems a lot of times it just tries and tries and tries and tries, tries and tries, and then goes. And I'm in the tries and tries part. So that sucked. DLPN is a piece of crap, uh, NFT name. But, you just, but here it is, through the 950 later on in the day, just a monster move. Um, and then never looked back. Actually came back to 951, 55. So it never actually went below your entry at 950. Uh, I made new highs and it's making, um, where's it now? 1250 right now. So, um, you know, I was able to get nothing out of that one. So POSH sounded really good. I got my order in here on the news event, but the trade did not, the market order did not go through trade station until 3894. Um, I got a really bad fill on it and it flushed down and I got out with like two, 300 shares. I forgot what the amount it was and lost 219 bucks. So those two trades alone were just killer, killer AMD going up all day long, all day long. And I catch falling the knife and I lose 55 bucks on that. Ford was a, was a news event that failed. Qualcomm, um, was a double news event which was a pain in the butt because I did get the short on Qualcomm brace, basically breaking ties with Google on certain aspect. And then they came out with a news event that said they were working with Google. I don't know. It became messy. It wasn't trading it heavy. Only lost a few bucks on that one. NCTY, just a break trade. ON, kind of a break early entry trade. Tilray, I thought there was some news on Tilray, but it wasn't. So I got out. I actually got green on that. EVK, just breakout trades. Um, RKT was news. Big monster news event on this one. Um, I traded poorly. This could have been a two, $300 trade. And I made it into a $30 trade. Just rocketed, no pun intended, or I should say pun intended, through the 17. Went up about 60, 70 cents. Uh, AMC, kind of a break trade. Square, um, early in the morning. You know, I wasn't trading this thing early. And if I just let it run, it would have been like up 25 points on the trade. <laughs> I just have the hardest time letting things just go. Just hang on. Um, unfortunately, BTBT was a break of a whole number. DOCN. Was this a news trade? I don't even remember DOCN. Oh, it was a breakthrough 54 or 55 on this candle here. Got a few points on that one. Probably my best trade of the day was Hood, um, Robin Hood through the 37 level um, broke through 37 here and really just ran up to almost 38 today um, it's doing it in the afters i think it went over into 38 in the after which was the opening price of the ipo but just an easy trade probably the easiest trade i've had in weeks 
actually I did a buy stop limit on quote order of 3702, 3707, got filled at 3704. And really, I was just pinging off shares as it was climbing. And I made a quick uh, 130 bucks on these two five minute candles. Actually, Tesla was a pretty good trade too. Um, I was just selling out too quick, just selling out too quick. Um, taking the move through the seven to 10 level and ran it up. Um, was only in for 75 shares or something like that, but I got 162 bucks on that trade. So a nice little trade on that. HPI got me last week, but I got some back today. Uh, this move through the 950 level and I was able to bang in there. I actually went a little bit stronger. I wasn't down much. I think, you know, let's look at my day after this in a second. But I was able to get a piece on the HPI. Mass mandates and all that stuff are coming back in play, which I will try to avoid to wear. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You can see very spiky on the charts. So you, you don't expect this thing to finish at highs on the day ever. So just remember that. Um, trade manager analysis on trade station. Here we go. Uh, here's my day. You can see I was down, and then I was down. This is when I got in that stupid POSH trade. Um, very frustrating. There, I was down four. I didn't even realize I was down three hundred ninety-three bucks. So I guess it's a fight back Monday. Um, anything under three hundred is a fight back. And you know, I got back to green here on a high day at eleven bucks. Failed off, and then I caught that HPI and um, one other trade. I was trying to do some stuff here, but that didn't work out. So at the end of the day, in the green, I don't know. It's still a tough market. I don't know if you guys agree. We're just not seeing follow through. Look, we, you know, the markets were up through 300 bucks or 300 points on the Dow. Uh, Nasdaq was up like 60, 70. Look, we're fairly finishing in the green here on the Nasdaq, and we're in the red in the Dow and the SPX. So makes for tough market conditions it's funny i do a news video last night or yesterday and it covers a lot of news trades in july and i mentioned that july was tough for news it was just not really you know, abundant there weren't tough trades and today was tough i got banged out by one um the rkt was really the only good news event and then the other one didn't really work out too well so i mean like yeah today was a day i would say do not trade the news but tomorrow could totally switch things around um, just takes one monster trade and um, they're always there it's always a possibility to fund so when a down day like this you have to be a little bit more uh, protective of your capital and if a news trade does click maybe instead of let's say you're in for a thousand shares you go for 500 or 500 shares you go for 250 or 200 shares so it's that type of thing you dial it back when the market conditions are weaker but it's 420 right now um it is monday I'll take the 48 bucks and 50 cents um, and hopefully things pick up <laughs> real soon, real soon. And you guys have a good night. So subscribe if you're new, like the video, share the video and comment on the video. Check out that video. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if you can't really hear it too well, sometimes I kind of have the, the system sounds get You know, there's a lot of talking and chatting. So, but you can see what I'm dealing with all day long. That just shows you how I'm trading. Anyway, have a good night.